Ladies and gentlemen, I am Crimson Rain, and in this Red Gaming Tech.com video, I have some news regarding uh, Star Wars. And another RPG has been pitched from Obsidian. Obsidian are from the Hall of Fame of Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords, which of course was a successor to Knights of the Old Republic 1, which was an incredibly well-received game on both the PC and the Xbox. Knights of the Old Republic 2 wasn't met with so much um, positive um, reception, however. There were a couple of reasons for this. Primarily, the, the game wasn't quite finished. There were a number of areas that had to be cut in a late development cycle because they just had to get the game out for numerous reasons. This wasn't necessarily their fault, it's just what happened. Um, as far as I understand it, they were basically rushed to release the game and therefore a few areas including the droid factory um, where I believe HK47 was being produced just was removed from the game and there was an actual restoration project uh, based upon the Xbox original code to port this to the PC. I'm not sure how far they got in though. Anyway, regardless, fast forward to 2013 and they are, as I've said previously, pitching another RPG based upon the Star Wars franchise, but this is not going to be based on Knights of the Republic. Instead, it's going to be set between episodes 3 and 4. Now, obviously, Disney themselves um, have now acquired Star Wars. However, the pitch was made previous to that, in other words, before they acquired it. And as I've said, it's going to be take place between episode 3 and 4, if it does so happen. And the Jedi are being purged from the galaxy, and the Emperor is basically securing his empire, which is pretty cool, actually. Chris Avalone has written several Star Wars comic, as well as Knights of the Old Republic 2, and he will be, well, working with Obsidian, he's one of their designers, actually, to create a very cool story. Now, if the game is finally released, I'm sure many of us would be extremely interested to see how it's done. Obviously, Electronic Arts have also released Star Wars or Old Republic as an MMO, which hasn't done too well of late, and it had to go the free-to-play model. Now, obviously, they're going up against a massively competitive market right now, and I've always said that I always wanted a single-player type of RPG um, with Star Wars anyway. And why? Because I just think it suits the storyline a lot better. And one of the reasons I've gone and said this before, but I'll just repeat myself, one of the reasons I absolutely love Star Wars Knights of the Republic is because you feel like you're part of it. You feel like, you know, you are the Jedi, you are Revan, or whomever you're playing at, you know, whichever, uh, depending on the character you are at the time, whatever, one or two. You actually feel like you're part of that and living the story like that. I didn't really feel like that in number um, in the Old Republic. I felt like I was just kind of along for the ride more. And this is, of course, one of the reasons because you're sent to, you know, retrieve ten hind legs of some mouse or something like that. And it just doesn't really fit in with the whole Star Wars feel, at least in my opinion. Obviously, some would disagree. And I, I must say, the time I did spend with the Old Republic, I really did enjoy in terms of the storyline. Nevertheless, I always preferred the single-player aspects of this more, and it warms my heart, I tell ye, that they are, well, pitching at least for another one. And if it is set between episodes 3 and 4, which of course um, would make it a very interesting time, a very turbulent time in the Star Wars history, not that any time in the Star Wars history is not particularly turbulent, there always seems to be one thing or another going on, which is fine and fair enough with me. So I'll be interested to see if the plot maintains some of the twists and turns that the Old Republic 1 and 2 certainly had within it. And it had, of course, I'm talking about the first one, one of the most notable twists in, I think, gaming. I think it has to be up there. Anyway, regardless, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I will see you around soon. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.